the analog pocket and the uh, recent addition of OpenFPGA through the most recent uh, firmware update uh, allows the uh, installation of cores that allows you to play uh, uh, other game systems and right away there was the release of the uh, Game Boy uh, Color which would play Game Boy and Game Boy Color games and the Game Boy Advance. Uh, I would like to uh, show how to install uh, these and uh, the initial setup of that. Uh, first I'd like to direct you to the uh, Reddit analog community. This uh, community I find to be very helpful since uh, analog themselves uh, almost never or rarely uh, communicates with uh, us uh, and customers uh, uh, themselves. Uh, so uh, this is where I usually get uh, information and especially when it comes to uh, this sort of thing that's uh, I'm going to call third party. And uh, right now, I'll put links uh, in the description, but if you were to go there uh, right now, um, uh, pinned at the top is uh, this uh, post uh, with the uh, current cores, uh, which, uh, which there's four. There was the, uh, announce, uh, the, the announced core with the uh, uh, release of the firmware for uh, this PDP-1. And then uh, right away, there was uh, the, these two cores from uh, Spiritualized uh, for Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance which we'll go over. And then uh, a few days later, there was the uh, uh, release of an alpha version for the Neo Geo, uh, which I saw today um, when I was logged in, there's going to be some uh, some new updates. So I was going to, uh, still trying to figure out how to get this to work personally. I know other people have got it to work, but once I did, I was going to make a video for this, but I think I'll wait for this next update because this actually fixes a few things. So uh, anyways, um, this will direct you to githubs for both of these cores to uh, download it with instructions and uh, we're going to go there uh, first so I'm just going to open these in separate windows so that we can view them and starting out with the uh, Game Boy Color I would recommend that you, you know, read through these uh, brief instructions because they do tell you everything that you need to do uh, but uh, um, uh, what you need to do is download the uh, core, which we'll get to in a second, and then uh, um, unzip that and place it into uh, the appropriate folders uh, for um, uh, your uh, card. And then uh, also you need to obtain a BIOS, which uh, uh, this is part of the reason why I'm doing this video because nobody seems to want to you know, tell people where to get this. It's very easy and uh, uh, I'll show you, it's pretty, pretty easy. Um, and then you can put your ROMs uh, into there to run. So we'll, we'll come back to that. And the instructions for the uh, Game Boy Advance is uh, identical, really. So uh, let's go to Game Boy Color and Game Boy. So we uh, um, go to the most recent release. And uh, they'll, uh, currently there's these three different links. There's the source codes if you need that. But uh, you want this link right here that's the, uh, um, uh, the actual uh, zip file with the, the core. And, um, uh, all the files that you need. So I'm doing this on a Mac, on a Windows. I mean, if you don't know how to download files on Windows, I can't help you, but uh, uh, just download that. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna download uh, the one for Game Boy Advance as well. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna go to my download folder. And uh, again, in Windows, if you don't know how to unzip folders, um, I'm sure there's videos on how to do that, but uh, we're just going to open those up and you'll see within there that there's uh, everything's already in the structure that you're going to drag and drop into your um, uh, SD card. So uh, we're going to set up an SD card. Um, in Windows, it's actually really easy. You just right click on your um, drive and uh, format uh, within uh, Mac. You go to disk utility. Um, this one's already formatted, but we're going to do this again. Uh, you choose erase and you need to do xfat or fat32 um, you will do uh, xfat you can name it whatever you want all right so that is now formatted and I'm just going to close that into open our, um, our SD card and for each of these, the game, this is the Game Boy Advance one and then the Game Boy Color, all you do is just uh, drag and drop over into your SD card. So that was the Game Boy Advance one, right? So we're going to do the Game Boy Color one. Again, drag and drop 
in Windows it might not give this uh, thing, but in Mac it asks you if you want to merge, just say merge. So put everything all in the same folders. You can delete these uh, files if you want to. It's just some readme uh, information, which is in that GitHub as well. And uh, we're just going to explore here real quick. So um, this uh, assets uh, folder, this is the one where we're going to be working in. Okay. And uh, there's these uh, core folders. Um, this is all the nuts and bolts. We don't need to really mess with that. Same thing with this, uh, platforms uh, folder. Okay. So let's bring up our browser again. And uh, just to show you back in the installation, uh, unzip uh, into the SD card. You will need to add the BIOS to your SD card and you have to name it a certain name and both these are in the instructions and place them in the assets GBA or GBC common folder. Okay, so that. I'm going to show you another Reddit. This is uh, the subreddit ROMS, R-O-M-S. Uh, this is your one-stop shop for probably everything that you want to know that nobody wants to tell you. Um, and the very first pinned link, it tells you <laughs> exactly where to go. Very, very easy. So I'm not telling you anything special, okay? Uh, as, as long as I've ever been aware of this, uh, at, pinned at the very top. I mean, there's all this discussion and stuff, but pinned at the very top is what you want. So um, from here, they occasionally like change where they um, have these uh, mega threads and stuff, but uh, um, currently they have this uh, GitHub. Uh, they choose that. And uh, everything's laid out very nicely. Uh, there's a ton of stuff on here. Explore it uh, to uh, your uh, desire. But uh, we're going to go straight to the retro tab, OK? And uh, as it says here, that that's where the, the retro games are. And that's where Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games are going to be. So you can click here or here. It doesn't matter. And uh, we're just going to scroll down to this one. Internet Archive No Intro. So find Game Boy Color and then Game Boy Advance. And uh, let's go to Game Boy Color. I'm just going to bring that up to uh, another window. I can't remember if you have to have an, an account for uh, to download this or not, but if, uh, if everything's grayed out, then just create an account with the Internet Archive. And uh, just uh, on Mac, it's Command F. I can't remember if it's um, Alt F or uh, Control F on the um, uh, Windows to search, but you can see there's tons of stuff here. So these are all different ROMs that you can uh, download, okay? But uh, just search for BIOS. And uh, there's a few of these listed. Uh, this is the one I've been using, uh, the uh, World Revision 1. I'm not sure what World Pokemon Stadium is. Um, and uh, obviously uh, Virtual Console um, don't want that one, and uh, uh, maybe you want to use the Japan one, I don't know. Uh, but we're just going to click on that, download it, okay? And let's go back to Game Boy Advance, same thing, I'm going to open it up into a different window. This is all Game Boy Advance ROMs. You can see how big this list is, so it's easier just search. And again, we're going to choose the World ROM. And now while we're here for testing purposes, uh, let's find Mario. Uh, which one do we want? Yeah, Super Mario Advance. So we're going to download this ROM as well. And the same thing over here for the Game Boy Color one. Uh, Super Mario Brothers. And... Uh, yeah, I don't know what the difference is between the revision one and whatnot, but uh, let's just do this uh, regular one. And we're going to show you one more thing, all right? So going back to your list of all the uh, platforms, I'm going to bring up Game Boy. And I just want to point out that if you search for BIOS on here, there are the BIOS for Game Boy, but you don't need this. So don't, don't even download it because you just don't need it. Uh, the Game Boy Color BIOS with that Game Boy Color ROM will play Game Boy games. There's a little nuance to all this and stuff, maybe a different video, you'll figure it out eventually yourself. It seems to play all the Game Boy games under the Game Boy Color, so it's like colorized and all that kind of stuff. There's a way to um, open up a black and white filter and stuff, but um, just for 
giggles. Let's uh, find uh, Super Mario Brothers. Uh, which one do we want? Let's just find a game. Yeah, fine. Mario and Yoshi. Or Mario. Yeah, I don't want to hear of them. Let's do Super Mario Land. I just want to download that too. Alright, so we're going to open up our folders again. And we're going to have to open up each one of these. Let's start out with the BIOS. Uh, this is the Game Boy Color. And find out what we need to name it. So this is uh, the Game Boy, Game Boy Color instructions. We need to rename it to gbc underscore bios dot bin. So we're going to copy and rename. And this rena renames the extension as well, so you may get some notification about uh, renaming it. And we're going to go to uh, assets, Game Boy Color, and common, right? And just drag and drop. And while we're here, we're going to put this ROMs for the Game Boy uh, Color and Game Boy as well. So I believe this one was the Game Boy one. Open it, drag and drop, and uh, Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. Same thing, open it, or unzip it, and then drag and drop over to the same folder, common. And you can do things like you can... Uh, let's do this. Game Boy. Uh, which one here? I think that one was the Game Boy game, right? And this is the Game Boy Color. So um, you can organize things within the common folder. All right. Uh, I believe you probably need to leave the BIOS in the root folder of common, but you can make a, you know, subfolders and organize things, which I have done on my regular, um, regular card. So we're going to go to the Game Boy Advance one, common, and Game Boy Advance uh, BIOS, unzip that, and we need to rename that GBA underscore BIOS dot bin. Okay. So it's renamed, yes, and copy over to common folder. And just to be OCD, we're going to make a folder of Game Boy Advance. Sure. And which was our game? This one, Super Mario Advance. So open it up, drag and drop. I'm not totally certain of this, but it seems like the extensions are GB for Game Boy, GBC for Game Boy Color extension GBA for Game Boy Vans. So that is all we do. So we'll um, go to another video. We're going to show, uh, we're, gonna, uh, we're going to eject our uh, SD card and then put it into the pocket. All right, on to step two. So we will take the SD card that we had just uh, worked on. So whether it's a uh, SD card that you formatted and start all this brand new or you already had a card and you added all these folders uh, either way uh, we're going to take that and place it into our pocket and turn it on and I already did this and messed it up so I <laughs> started over but if you're doing this for the first time you'll get it just a very quick screen about it like uh, updating the, the card or something like that uh, and uh, Otherwise, you get all your options, and um, obviously make sure that you've updated your pocket to the latest firmware that uh, includes OpenFPGA. So now you have the OpenFPGA option. You're going to need to go into there, and you, you have your cores that you have uh, installed. So Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. I would like an option to rearrange this, uh, just because I'm OCD and would like to place them in order. So Game Boy, then Game Boy Color. And then Game Boy Advance, but regardless. Uh, each of these have the same options when you go into them. So there's a run, change core, which is grayed out and about. And I haven't figured out what this change core is because I did some experimentation. And if you remember when we downloaded the core, or, I'm sorry, the, the BIOS, um, there was uh, um, you know different BIOS, say for Japan, and uh, 
I mean, it's not like you can put different bios in there because you have to give them one name that the uh, core looks for. And uh, I don't know, just not really quite, quite sure what that grayed out is. But uh, uh, then an enter about gives you the version number and uh, you know some information about the uh, the core, which is nice. And then run. Uh, here, if you remember, I had put things into different folders. So there's going to be the Game Boy ROMs and the Game Boy folder and the Game Boy Color ROMs and the Game Boy uh, Color folder. And you, you can do whatever you want, but um, that gives you some organization. And it's kind of annoying that when you do go there, when you go to like be out, I mean, you have to go through the whole file structure, but regardless. Uh, and all these are going to be the same, okay? So uh, we're just going to start with the Game Boy Color one. And we're going to run that Game Boy Color ROM. So, Super Mario Bro De Deluxe. Get your opening screen, and you're into the game. And uh, you can go ahead and just start playing to your delight. When you're done, you can just close the game out. You can you can put it to sleep. Um, you should be able to wake it back up. Should be able to. <laughs> Dude, it looks like we bugged out. Okay, well, uh, actually, I think that's the first time I tried to use sleep within this. So I guess the uh, example of maybe uh, that's something to be aware of. So we're gonna we're just gonna start from the beginning. I'm gonna close it, open back up, and we'll just kind of move on for demonstration purposes. Um, and then. Uh, I just want to show you that when you go to the Game Boy option, okay, it's the same stuff, and you, you open up the same folder, of course, um, and we're just going to open a Game Boy Color game. So, okay. so you can see that this isn't really a Game Boy Core, it's the Game Boy Color Core, and it doesn't really matter you know, which one you're opening up. Okay. So we're going to go through the analog button to bring up the, the menu. We're going to quit that. And let's go back, and it does. So now you know that it doesn't matter whether you choose Game Boy or Game Boy Color. It's the same destination, right? But we're just do going to do uh, run from Game Boy. We're going to choose the Game Boy game, and I'm going to show you one more thing because you might be interested in this. So left and B. Okay. So during that opening screen, do left and B, and at least brings it up in black and white, so it can look a little more like you're playing you know, original. Okay, so we're going to quit. And uh, I believe those are um, color palettes that are for the Game Boy Color. It has nothing to do with this core specifically or um, the, the pocket. Pretty sure about that. Someone can correct me, but um, and I'll put a link to there's uh, um, all the other different palettes you can use. So now we're going to go to Game Boy Bands and you can see they have the same options. We go to Run. I'm just going to open up our Super Mario Bands uh, core, or I'm sorry, ROM. Loads right up. Get your opening screen for Game Boy Advance, which is one of my favorite ones. I love that one. And you're right into the game. And uh, I haven't messed with it yet, um, but you should be able to do multiplayer stuff through that link cable. Uh, there was some information in the GitHub and the instructions and stuff about link cables. So, all right. So, you. Uh, this is this actually excites me because. Uh, um, this is what we were supposed to have, you know, when the pocket was uh, released, uh, and uh, you know, it's like two years later, but in analog time, I guess that's like the next day. So, um, you know, eventually uh, you get there, but uh, um, this is pretty cool, uh, and I'm 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 excited to see some more cores come out. So, you guys have fun. Peace.